all done with work. Um, today I'm going to kind of share with you my after work night routine, work night routine, that kind of thing. Um, so at the end of my shift, obviously I just shut down and restart my computer, which if, if anyone's curious, I do work in a call center. So I'm basically taking phone calls all day. Wouldn't be a whole lot of fun to record for you because you wouldn't be able to see what I'm actually doing for privacy reasons. Um, but yeah, so at the end of my shift, I just shut down my computer to restart it so systems are fresh for the next day. Uh, usually, I take a little break, go outside, let the dog out, get some fresh air for a few, and then I'll have dinner. So I'm gonna make my way outside. <laughs> Back in the house, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some dinner, which I'm gonna show you. So, just to show you, I kind of meal prep everything for most of my week so I don't have to like cook all the time, especially after work, because I'm usually hungry. So I'm just gonna heat up this, it's like a chicken stuffing zucchini casserole. That's actually very tasty. So let me get going on that. So this is actually a very good um, casserole that I just tried. It was a recipe from Pinterest. I'll link it down below. But it's actually been quite tasty and it reheats pretty well for um, like a meal prep meal. So, but I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and watch a little bit of TV. I finished eating. Um, I went and put everything in the dishwasher so that's taken care of and I've just been enjoying watching the rest of this Halloween baking championship that's on Food Network. Um, as you can kind of tell, it's starting to get a little bit darker so I'm going to go ahead and I guess kind of set the cozy vibes in the living room. And then I got to work on some meal prepping, or not meal prepping, but making my meal plan for the next couple weeks because I do grocery shopping on Fridays when I get paid. So I'm going to go ahead and get the lights on so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, and then we'll go from there. should probably explain to you that I get off work around 4 30 um usually when I go outside I could be out there for 30 minutes to an hour um just kind of walking sometimes I call a relative or something and then when I come in I eat dinner so that's gonna take me up to usually I think around 6 6 30 uh like I said tonight I'm kind of gonna work on some meal prepping um and then I usually try to have my dessert by seven at the latest. Um, I don't like to eat after seven because I do go to bed early. Um, 
So I'll kind of fill you in when I get to dessert, but right now I'm still working on my meal plan. And like I had mentioned previously, I definitely um, meal prep, uh, like my meals for the week, so it's quick and easy and I don't have to think about it, especially with working all the time. So I'm gonna try to do another video on like how I meal plan, how I prep food, things like that. So it's about 6.20. I'm actually gonna run outside again with the dog. Girl's gotta get her steps in at some point. So I'm gonna go outside and walk for a little while and then when I come in, I get to treat myself to my Yasso bars. <music> So it's about 7.30 now. Um, I'm actually gonna go kind of set up for morning breakfast, water, coffee, that kind of stuff. Um, I like to do that the night before I go to bed, so that way in the morning I can just kind of wake up and do what I need to do without feeling rushed, because I like to enjoy the morning before I start work. Um, sorry, don't mind this hair, I swear. <laughs> curly, naturally curly hair problems. It just air dries and goes a little bit crazy. Um, but anyway, yeah, so let's go get some water. Um, I refill a pitcher so that way when I'm on my first break, I can uh, fill up my water jug a little faster because it does tend to uh, take forever for some reason with my freezer or fridge. Um, but yeah, about 7.30 now. So I'm just gonna enjoy watching a few more YouTube videos. Um, and then usually around eight, I try to take the dog outside one more time for bed. And yeah, then I go to bed by 8.30. I guess I should mention that I typically get up around 5.30 um, during my work weeks, just so I can have a slower morning, wake up fully before I start work. It also gives me a chance to do a workout if I want to um, watch a little bit of TV that I wasn't up late enough to watch the night before. Um, and if I need a shower, I can take a shower, usually after I work out. But um, I do get up rather early, so I try to go to bed at it, like 8.30. All right, so I'm gonna watch a little bit more, probably work on editing some more, which you might have seen a minute ago. And then, yeah, we'll take the dog outside. about 8 p.m. now so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of set up my bedroom for bed and then I'm gonna take the dog outside um, that way when I come in I can just kind of change my PJs and go to sleep
so I'm gonna shut down some lights and then probably go take my contacts out and put some PJs on. As you can see, Mr. Riley is ready for bed too. Yeah. Try to be in bed by 8.30 and then at I'll watch a little bit of Netflix tonight. Um, there's a couple shows I'm trying to watch. And then around 9.30, lights are out and I definitely go to sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and enjoy a little bit of Netflix and then, yeah, it'll be a nighttime. Obviously, keep in mind, everybody's routine works for them. Not everybody's going to be able to do the same thing. I just get up super early, so it works for me to go to bed, you know, earlier. And my mind just doesn't shut off at night, so... It works better if I can try to be in bed an hour before I want to be to sleep. Watching TV, sometimes I read a book. It just helps to kind of decompress from the day, shut my mind off so I can actually go to sleep. If I try to just get into bed and go to, go to sleep, it just doesn't work for me. I end up laying here for like an hour anyway with my mind going through everything on my lists of things to do. So just trying to shut off and enjoy and not do anything helps to allow me to get to sleep quicker. So, I'm going to go ahead and watch some Netflix. So, I'm going to say good night and I hope everyone has a blessed evening. Until next time, thank you. Mm -hmm.